Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? So, did you like my last recipe? Um, as I promised you in my last two videos, I was gonna do pulled pork and I did, and it was absolutely delicious. Um, it inspired me to make it based on this recipe in the um, Simon World magazine uh, for this month. Um, but I tweaked mine a little bit as I usually do. Um, so I just wanted to share it with you, it was delicious. and. So I had the next day the leftovers um, on a jacket potato with some uh, mature cheddar, which was delicious too. And oh, it was just so nice. So I really wanted to share it with you. So here's how I made it. So I've got my slow cooker here and it will come into focus, I promise. And I've just got a small joint of pork where I've removed all the fat, there you go. And this is just a dish you throw everything in. So I've got a couple of sticks of celery, um, one large leek, some carrots and um, a red pepper and you just literally throw it in the whole dish is just a one pot dish and it's just brilliant so that's all going to go into there and then we can start adding um, the rest of the ingredients so I've got some Worcester sauce here which I'm just going to put in about three generous tablespoons I know I should probably get a spoon and measure it but when it's a free ingredient I just tend to do it by eye now and then I've got some mixed herbs, and this is a really good generous um, teaspoon's worth. So just pop that in. And then I've got some really nice spicy paprika. Um, you could use smoked if you want, but I just think the spice one just adds a bit of flavour. Now I'm going to add also to this half a teaspoon of chilli, but you just need to be really careful with the chilli. You don't want it to overpower, especially when you've got the spicy paprika in there as well. So just be warned on that basis. And then um, about a teaspoon of mustard powder, depending on how strong you want it again. And then some good balsamic vinegar. This is just from um, Asda. Actually, no, it's just from Little actually, this one, and it's lovely. And you probably want um, sort of two thirds more of the balsamic to what you put in the Worcester sauce. So if you put in three teaspoons of, of uh, uh, sorry, the Worcester sauce, then go for about five of the um, balsamic and then a really nice passata and I'm going to really really make sure I get every single piece of this um, passata out of this um, carton so I'm going to give it a really good squeeze there we go I don't like to waste anything that's in there that's it and all I'm going to do now is just try and give it a little bit of a stir there's a big joint at the bottom so it's not as easy as just giving it a big stir with a spoon so I'm just going to make sure as possible um, the vegetables are coated in that um, sauce mixture that I've just put together and then all I need to do is just pop the lid on that and leave it on low for a few hours and then I'll come back to it and show you it then right so it's been cooking for a few hours now and you can see the sauce has got really rich so what I now need to do is just leave the lid off this for about an hour hour and a half just so the sauce thickens and you will see the difference I promise so just going to leave that now and here it is an hour and a half later. I'm just going to take the pork out now, um, leave the sauce behind and see how rich it is. And I now need to put some chopping board and I'm going to shred it. And this is the best bit. You can leave this as thick or as thin as you want. I like it quite um, chunky still so that you still get mouthfuls of the pork as you're doing it but it really is up to you you don't need to um, to do it um, as thick as I've got it here and then just as say just should just fall with a knife and um, a fork and just chop it oh it does look amazing doesn't it and it did taste amazing so I'm popping that all back now into the sauce so just get it all in there that's it look at it doesn't it look amazing I mean that pork so white stunning That's it. And then all you do is just give it a good stir back in so it's all mixed into the, the sauce. And there we go. It is absolutely perfect and it's just ready to serve. So all I need to do now is get a dish and start serving this. So here we go. And here it is. This is my dinner. Now what I did is I had some potatoes which we cooked with some broccoli of course and it was a really really delicious meal. Absolutely amazing and so quick, so easy. One pot and you have a perfect dinner. 
So what do you think? It's dead easy. You just sew it all in the circle cut. There's no worrying about it at all. As I said, that um, did two of us um, for main dinner. And then we also had the next day for jacket potato. So it was absolutely brilliant. It was lovely. You could freeze if you want to, or just keep in the fridge for a few days. So, you know, if you don't want it next day, you don't have to necessarily. Um, my next recipe, I'm gonna find here, is gonna be inspired from this book. Um, if you follow me on my crafting channel, you'll know that I'm a big fan of um, Kathy from my DIY. And she's Polish, although she lives in America. And I love Polish food. I've been there a few times and absolutely love the food there. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get myself a little Polish recipe book and try and create them. And as Kathy has said already, you know me, I'm probably going to try and make it symbol friendly. And I will. Um, although a lot of these recipes are actually really, really low sin or free anyway. So I don't think a lot of these are going to need a lot of tweaks, if I'm honest. So I am going to go through these. There are some really high calorific ones in there, like some donuts, which I'm just going to show you a picture. Look at these. Don't they look amazing? Not sure if I can make those um, sin free, but I'll see what I can do because they do look delicious, don't they? So um, that isn't giving my next recipe. Um, I'm planning on doing a main meal from here. So, so many ideas. There is 120 mouth watering recipes. So I've got plenty of choice. And obviously there's still some things in here I want to try as well. So there's lots and lots of things I'm gonna be doing. So that means one thing guys, you do need to subscribe to my channel and click notifications if you want to know when I put these on, all right? Tend to be a Sunday and a Wednesday. Sometimes I might throw some bonus ones in during the week depending on how much time I've had to cook. As you know, I'm working from home at the moment so I've got a lot more time on my hands. So I am enjoying experimenting in the kitchen again. So hopefully you'll be coming along and seeing my next videos and hopefully you have subscribed because I would like to get more subscribers. So guys, I will see you next time. Be safe and let me know if you try my recipes out. All right, you take care, bye.